Shame, Shame that, that tune! As it spins, a game show where you'll hear stories so shameful they'd make Cosmo blush. A show where you hear songs so hastily composed the batter is still mostly wet. Are you ready to shame that tune? Please welcome your downy co hosts, Brian Costello and Abraham. Sake. Let's sing the opener, huh? Just once. Just once. When life gives you a story, too shameful not to share. Yes. <laughs> like wedgies in the locker room or bubble gum in your hair. There's a game show always standing by to take you there. Shame. for being a part of tonight's, uh, here we go, General Assembly, and helping us uh, occupy this capitalist cesspool, also known as the hideout. <laughs> uh, my name is Comrade Costello, and over here, playing the people's baby, baby grand piano, please show your solidarity by applauding for Comrade Levitan. Thank you, fellow toilers in the struggle. <laughs> we have a real revolutionary show for you tonight. Seriously, though, have you been following these Occupy protests? It seems like everything right now is Occupy this and Occupy that. Well, let me tell you, last night I ate some Mexican food. And the next thing I know, I'm occupying my bathroom. Set up a little encampment and everything. By the time I was done, I was kind of hoping a cop would kick down my door and blast some pepper spray, because let me tell you, P.U. <laughs> yes, yeah, so they say it's uh, like getting sprayed in the space by vegetables. Uh, refreshing. But seriously, though, what, what are these people protesting? What do they want? Oh, look at us. We hate stuff. Down with America as they march around with a belly full of Big Macs and Vente Frappuccinos. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's like, why don't you put down that succulent granola tofu bulgur arugula and get a real job like the rest of us? That's right. How's about occupying a cubicle and stop blaming Wall Street for paying off politicians who weaken those big evil government regulations, thereby permitting an environment where unchecked greed led to the devastating collapse of the American dream and most of its manifestations and getting bailouts from government and still get themselves multi-million dollar, oh my god. <laughs> wait, wait, but, but they pay back the bailout money. Touche. <laughs> That's right. Touche. So as we say back home in Orlando, quit your bitching. <laughs> yeah, 
mean, because without Wall Street, where would we be? That's right. You know, Wall Street gets the products to the stores you see on Main Street, the ones that haven't gone out of business or been gobbled up by the corporate. Uh, the Wall Street's the engine! The engine! That's right, that's right. I mean, you can blame Wall Street all you want. But without Wall Street, think of all the things we wouldn't have. In fact, I wrote a little song about it. And it goes a little like this. Masters of the universe, my, you have such high net worth. My, you have such giant balls, making all those margin calls. Rolling in liquidity, so we can get cheaper shirts and pants. That's great, Abraham. You know, since uh, we're occupying the hideout tonight, and our show is about the Occupy movement, I started thinking that all this anger you see in the parks, it's really uh, misdirected. Because, you know, thinking it over at the end of the day, if there's one group of people who really deserve our scorn and hatred, if there's anyone we should be blaming for this economic mess, I think the blame lies squarely on the shoulders of teachers. Amen! Amen! <laughs> I mean, <laughs> sitting on your asses all day watching the big bucks just roll in. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I wrote a little protest poem. It's called Cold for Teacher. And I hope it makes you sit and, and, and think. <clears throat> Hot for teacher? No way, man. I'm cold for teacher. I got it bad, got it bad, got it bad. Behind her, sweet elderly, the cad. My fourth grade teacher, Miss Bassinet, was a union goon. Communist multiplication tables, preaching Maoist bullcrap like caring and sharing. My chair! My chair! Oh no, it's the heckler! Tax show? I, I don't. I don't even know what that means. Cayman Islands? What? <laughs> Shane Mattoon exploits their interns. Shane Mattoon exploits their interns. Wait a minute. Wait a, exploits our interns? I, we give our interns valuable on-the-job training. Um, I like. This is our intern today. Her name is uh, Miss uh, Terry Bradshaw. Um, <laughs> Let me, let's, just, let's just ask her. Ms. Bradshaw, uh, Terry, uh, do you feel exploited as an intern because we don't pay you? Yeah, she does. I mean, she wouldn't <laughs> say that. <laughs> Woo! Wow! Woo! Yeah, yeah. yeah! And not only that... <laughs> and not only that! <laughs> but this induction has gone on way too fucking long! <laughs> She went to the docks! She went to the docks! No! Jeez, you know, they're never, they're never coked up bouncers around when you really need them, you know? Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, Heckler, are you done? We have a show to do. Yes, we are! Yes, we are! We have a really great show for you tonight! We have a really great show for you tonight! <laughs> Stick around, we got a great show.
nothing in here, Larry. It's from Elgin and Tommy. Drunk on gin. What's your secret? <laughs> well, Bob, earlier tonight I stopped by Elgin's own El Gin and Tonic. Got some gin, got some tonic. You mean you can get gin and tonic there? Like I said, got some gin, got some tonic. Even got a lime. Now I'm drunk. So that's how you did it. El Gin and Tonic. <laughs> yeah, Bob. El Gin and Tonic. See, they've been family owned and operated since 1953, so I know they really care. It's like getting drunk with friends. They sell wine. They do not. What about beers? Other spirits? No, and definitely not. Listen, let me tell you. They have gin, tonic, and a few limes. Okay, so they're family owned and operated. It's like I'm saying, they have proudly served the village of Elgin since 1953. Elgin and Tonic. So that's how you did it. Sounds to me like a New Year's resolution. I think I'll start right now. Yeah, I need to head back there too. There's one thing they sell that I forgot to get. A vomit bag. Elgin and Tonic is located at the corner of Gulf Road and Corporate Drive in the heart of downtown Elgin. Dimes available on a seasonal basis only. <laughs> okay, we're back. Uh, we'll go back to Shane Rock too. Hey, there's some seats up here if you'd like to take a load off, uh, Fanny. Um, yes, your seats are in the front row. Um, and uh, Terry Bradshaw is back on stage. Okay, it's really nice. that's in turn. We must have resolved that yeah, uh, little, little labor dispute. dispute. Yeah, yeah definitely. Thank you. Definitely. Um, okay, so here's how we play uh, Shame That Tune. Uh, contestants come up one at a time. They spin this here wheel of musical subgenres. They tell a story, a shameful anecdote from when they were in high school or younger or a little bit older uh, for three minutes. And then I get to interview them for four minutes. And then Abraham makes up a song on the spot in the style of whatever came up on the wheel about that story. So let's look at this musical subgenre wheel we have here. What a wheel. It's, it's uh, some of the finest protest songs of the last 50 years. Uh, think, uh, let's go through these. Uh, Abraham, we have Rage Against the Machine, a little rage program. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had a video game that featured their music. Big in the dorms. Um, we are the world. <laughs> Cured hunger. Uh, oh, you too. You too. That was the guy with the mullet, right? Yes, it was. Yeah, the, uh, right. uh, oh, the Dixie Chicks? It's the chicks with mullets. Yes. Uh, <laughs> they fought the president. And the president won. Uh, CSN and Y. Oh, he <laughs> Oh, I know. I think they did my taxes last I think so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, who's ready to burn the midnight oil? Gonna burn the midnight oil. We'll, uh, we'll, uh, uh, rescue the Aborigines from Sir oh, Doom. Yes. yes. Um, a change is gonna come. At, uh, that was Google. Uh, <laughs> Endless Star War. Oh, oh. What is it good for? Huh. Absolutely nothing. Good, good God. Good God, y'all. Oh, the uh, in Indigo Girls. Cool. Yeah. Cool. I'd like to get down, down some time. Uh, Twisted Sisters. Oh, he was the dad who was so mean and made his son do the chores. Yeah. It was, uh, yeah. we're not going to take it anymore. Oh, okay. Oh, here's one. Uh, Phil Collins, but seriously. Uh, the Clown Prince of 80s Pop did a serious album. Uh, uh, about uh, homelessness, and he, he when uh, he put his career on the line to tell everyone that homelessness was wrong. <laughs> and we applaud him for that. We're tripping, we're tripping all set. Yeah. So uh, I think we're all set here. So uh, who's ready to play some shame that too? You know, I think we got every single important protest singer of the last Oh years. my gosh, the question mark, yes. But maybe we forgot one. We did, uh, and that's where you, the audience, comes in. So maybe there's a uh, protest uh, singer, protest band, you know, uh, political 
rap and hip um, that maybe you know about that you would like to yell out. Um, so here's the deal. On the count of three, just shout it out. And, you know, you got to be loud here, okay? Uh, we talked about this last time. Uh, so on the count of three, one, two, three. What do you want to hear? Oh! Nick Chek. There we go. Yeah. Uh, the only one I heard was Bachman Turner over. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You ain't seen nothing yet. It's a revolution called arms. Uh, something called arms. Uh, I definitely attained a level of uh, middle school playground there for a second. <laughs> 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 